Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up telemetry screens on black and white radios running Edge TX. Black and white radios running Edge TX also have the ability to display telemetry, and you can get to the telemetry screens by pressing the TELE button on the bottom left. Once you're in the telemetry screen section, you'll have options to hit page right and page left to navigate through the different telemetry screens you've set up. On this screen, I've got a graphical representation showing me certain telemetry values that I discovered from my Express LRS receiver, including R quality. So you can see the bar goes all the way over here to the right, that's 100%. I have one RSS, which stands for RSSI on antenna number one, and I also have transmission power. And you can see the telemetry values that are coming in are represented graphically by these bars. The next page that I have set up uses the same exact data in a numerical format. So I have RQLY again, which is at 100%. I've got one RSS, which represents RSSI on antenna number one, and I've got transmission power, which is showing me 25 milliwatts. Now, depending on the number of screens you have set up, you can toggle through them by hitting page right and page left, and you have the ability to set up up to four. Let me show you how to do the screen setups. Exit the telemetry screens by pressing the return button, press the model button, and then press page left two times. And the first thing you wanna do is make sure you've got some telemetry. The cool thing is you don't have to use telemetry sensors. You can also use things like stick values or your timers. There are other things you can use, but since we're talking about telemetry, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with sensors. So you can see on this radio, I've got sensors coming in. I've got one RSS, two RSS, and a whole bunch of others. But I picked a couple of sensors off this list to show me on the screen. So first thing you need to do is make sure you've got sensors. If you don't have sensors, you can't select them for your screen setup. Next, we'll hit page right and go to page 11. Over here on the top right, you can see 11 of 11. That's a pagination indicator indicating that I'm on page 11. And for screen type, you can see I've got screen one set up for bars and screen two set up for nums. I'm gonna show you what an empty screen looks like first because this is what you'll be starting with. So normally when you first get into this section and start configuring, you'll see screen one, two, three, and four all set to none, just like these two are at the bottom. So I've already done some configuration work. That's why mine looks a little different than the way yours will look. Okay, to configure a telemetry screen, I'm gonna start on screen three, which is empty, and we'll start by clicking the jog dial, and you have a couple of different options here. Obviously, none means there is no screen configured, and then as you scroll to the right, you can choose between nums and bars, which are the numerical versus graphic representation, and then you can also choose script, which means you can display data from a Lua script. I don't know how many Lua scripts are, that are able to do that on this radio, so I'll have to skip that, but if you do have a Lua script that can give you data, you can load it up here. So we'll stick with numbers just to keep it simple. And I'm just gonna come down to this first field and choose a value. So in this case, I'll scroll all the way down to my telemetry section and we'll pick something out of the list. We'll do RX battery and see what the RX battery is showing us. There it is, RX battery. On this side, this really represents columns. So you can set another numeric value up on this row just by clicking on the field and then scrolling and finding the value you want to examine. So in this case, I'll choose RX bat minus, which would show me the lowest RX battery value that the telemetry screen observed. So that's it for screen three. We'll just do an example. I've got numbers set up and on screen four, we'll set up bars. And what you do on bars is you have to think about your high and low range. So we'll click bars and then we'll come down here and pick a value. And I'll scroll over until I find something interesting. We'll do RQLY because that's real easy. And then you'll see two values. And what th these represent are the low and the high end. So you have to determine how you want the data to be represented. One example of this is you could have RQLY that goes down to zero, which is really bad. But you also might say, well, listen, if my RQLY goes all the way down to 30%, I think that's bad and I want to turn around. So you could set 30% as your low watermark. Let's just do that for an example. So I'll set this for 30, and then on the right-hand side, we'll set that at 100 because that's where it normally peaks, is at 100. You can't go any higher than that. So we'll set that at 100. You could also say, hey, I wanna set this to 70 because the reality is that anything over 70%, I don't care. 
So if it's above 70, that's good to me. So you could do that too. You just define the range in a way that makes sense for you. So we'll use 30 and 70 for this example, why not? So that's it. Now we've got screen three and four set up. Let's back out by hitting return and return again. So we'll press the telemetry button and there's page one that was already defined. We'll go over to page three and there you can see I've got RX bad at 5.5 volts and it's showing me a min value of 5.4. That was the minimum value. If I disconnect that sensor, it should go down to zero and the min value should stay at zero and then I'll connect it back to power again and we should see that climb. So there we go, the minimum value stayed at zero, and now that the sensor is connected to power again, we see 5.5 volts. So that's our numeric representation. I'll hit page right again, that brings us to page four, and there's our visual representation of receiver quality, but remember, if I go to page two, I should see my numeric value at 100. So this bar is pegged because I have the high end set at 70%. Unfortunately, I don't have a great way to attenuate RQLY to show you how this would drop off. I actually tried sticking the receiver in a pot covered with a metal cup and stuffed it in the dishwasher, and it's still showing me RQLY of, what is it, 100? It's really high, yeah. So I can't attenuate the RQLY. But when you're out flying, especially if you go any kind of distance at all, you'll see it drop off. That's the way it works. One other thing I wanna to touch on really quick is the numerical layout. Remember, you have columns. You have the left-hand side and the right-hand side. In both examples, I didn't completely populate the page. So on one example, I've got numeric values on the left-hand side only. And then on this example, I put numeric values on the right-hand side. You could populate them down all the way down uh, one, two, and three on the left and one, two, and three on the right. So you can put up to six sensors on the screen if you wish. I hope you liked the content. And if you did, smash that thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. YouTube should recommend another video for you right about now. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy and get out there and fly something.